Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2015 in Frankfurt, Germany, and we're here at the Alenia booth with Mark O'Connor. Mark, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great, Rich. How are you? Well, great to see you again. Yeah, you know, I've heard some new things about Alenia Map. Are you doing a demo today? Sure, I've got a couple of cool things to show you today. All right. All so right. normally on these sessions we like to do uh, an intro to the products and show how they work for some simple examples. Uh, today I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to look at real world codes and real world problems real world. that we've been seeing with our uh, customers and users over the last few weeks and months um, just to show some interesting insights that we've had. Okay. Okay. And this is a, a bioinformatics code. Ah. We ran it here on a one single node with 24 threads. Um, spending all this time in compute, which is great. Uh, it's not I.O. bound, which is fine. Um, and on that compute time, we see the breakdown 20% in single core and 80% in OpenMP. That's all right. You know, you're not getting limited by the single core. But of that parallel time, you're spending 17% in synchronization here, which is, I thought that's a little bit high. I wonder if there was something we could do to improve. And this is what we saw. Yeah. So here again, it's all across the time. The dark green is single core, light green is parallel, grey is synchronization. So right away, you see the main part of the job is beautifully optimized, but at the end you've got this huge grey, what's going on in there? So I just clicked and zoomed in on that, and map shows us in the stacks view here, we can dig right down to find out which functions are taking all of that time, which are actually executing while the others are waiting, right? Uh, and it brings these innocent looking open and P parallel loop, like five lines of code, uh, which is a, a parallel for loop that does essentially nothing except for going to a critical section and then push data onto an array. And if we look in the, the function view, we see, yeah, everybody's waiting in spin locking, CPU relax, futex wait. So what's happening here is all of these 24 cores are just in contention with each other for 30 seconds. 30 whole seconds, they're just fighting each other for these locks. So curiously, I thought, well, Let's just comment out the pragmas here, so we're not doing any OpenMP in this section, because that doesn't look right. And when we did that, bam, look, that section just disappears. It's so much faster just doing it on the single core, um, and the whole job is now 30 seconds faster, which is a 7% benchmark increase from like deleting three lines of code that shouldn't have been there in the first place. So, so less is more in this case for, for the code. Yeah. yeah, but that's the, the reality is that these codes are so complex and they're changing all the time and you've had an optimization pass and then five other people come in and add their own new little features and it's so easy for things like this to creep in and you don't notice at the workstation level when you're making the changes. So you need the, you need the oversight from something like performance reports <clears throat> to say, hey, this has gone backwards, this is worse than it used to be and then a map will see where and fix that really quickly so you can stay on top. When we see the improved version we're now spending just 11% time synchronization. There's still a lot of performance on the table there that we can get out of this code. And, and this is a real application in bioinformatics? This can benefit, um, this can benefit the life sciences community as soon as we commit that back into the main source tree.